if you're interested in having a black background, especially when you're hiding words, um, there's a way to use a style override for the background, but it's not really intuitive. It might be helpful for kids who don't really like this kind of grayish default color, or if they have some vision things, you can also do this with the smaller gray sizes um, and kind of help them bring, bring their view into the symbol. Um, this does not make it CVI or cortical visual impaired um, appropriate at all, um, but it does help just change the background and make it a little bit easier to look at. Um, so if you go to the right hand um, corner at the top right hand corner to menu, and then you go to edit page. And so now you see all the hidden ones. You have to go back to menu in the top right hand corner, and then you have to click page style override, which is right above hide mode or import slash copy pages. And then you'll see that I already picked black. There's so many options that you can choose from. Um, and I just like picking black. Uh, and then you'd have to turn on the background color override. You save it. And then when you click done, now it's black. Um, and you can always turn it off. Some kids hate it, but this also really helps. It does work across um, the Eat. board for it. It'll change everything to black and it's just a lot easier to look at. Um, and just to find certain buttons, especially when you're using hide mode.